Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar The iconic Man on the Moon moment due for an upgrade. NASA's new theme is space flight for everyone. And through their Artemis missions, NASA's next chapter of human exploration will help establish a sustainable, long-term presence on the moon. The space agency will do it with some historic firsts. And when we land the first woman and the first person of color on the moon, will inspire kids here and around the globe showing that if they can dream it, they can be it. NASA established its program back in 2017, and it's aligning with the goal for more space exploration that the Biden-Harris administration announced in April. NASA is committed to help restore America's standing in the world, and Artemis is certainly going to help us achieve that by assembling the broadest and most diverse international space exploration coalition in the history of this planet. Prior to this, United States Apollo 11 was the first crew mission to land on the moon on July 20th, 1969. That team was formed of all white men. At the time, the U.S. still upheld staunch Jim Crow laws, preventing African Americans from participating. Many women were not allowed to even apply to be an astronaut. It was not until 1983 Sally Ride was the first American female in space. The wealth of knowledge to be gleaned from the moon will inspire a new generation of thought. Now, nearly 40 years later, NASA will collaborate with commercial and international partners to push the limits on Earth and in space even more. All that we build, all that we study, all that we do, it will prepare us to return to the moon and then go beyond. NASA's plan is to use what they learned on and around the moon to take the next major leap, sending the first astronauts to Mars. Nicole. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.